Over 2,000 years ago, ancient Chinese scholars observed the changing patterns in our natural world, the climate, the turning of the seasons, and astronomy. The scholars measured and divided the sun's annual movements into 24 equal parts, creating the 24 solar terms, which were used to govern agriculture in ancient China. Even to this day, this invention still guides the lives and traditions of hundreds of millions of Chinese people. Every year on May 21st, the Xiaoman solar term arrives. Abundant rainwater is essential for a good harvest. The silkworms and cart deities are the symbols of wealth and prosperity, and folks hold cultural activities expressing their gratitude. Lesser fullness, or xiaoman in Chinese, is the second solar term in summer. While it's getting steadily hotter and wetter, the wheat grains become fuller by the day. But they're nowhere near ripe enough for harvesting yet. The ancient Chinese gave this season its characteristic by calling it xiaoman, or lesser fullness. In the fertile southeast of China, one of the legends of midsummer is the birthday of the goddess of silk. Well, I'm now in Wutian, and I'm heading out to a little town on its outskirts. Now, this town has the GDP of an entire city of China. Now that's a huge amount of money when you consider how wealthy China is. How did this happen? Quite simply with the invention of one product, silk. Shengzhe town Wujiang city. This is one of the four most important historical centers of silk in China, and its importance has only grown as it has become a sophisticated production and distribution center. I hear that over 10 billion meters of silk comes from this place every single year. The silk industry holds up the entire local economy. So it's not surprising that the locals worship the creature that makes it all possible, the silkworm. Every year, Shengzhe Town will put on a 10-day long opera all about the silkworm. In Shengzhe, Shen Yingbao is a household name. Specializing in silk production for more than 20 years, the locals consider him an expert in the subject. Shu 祝贺他的生日,同时也是庆贺我们自己的产检丰收. The smoothest and most delicate spun silk threaded with real gold. Only the most expensive and gorgeous brocade deserves to be dedicated to the silkworm goddess, to thank her for the wealth her worms have brought, this year and through the ages. Shengzhe's history has been strung together by silk. As early as 5,000 years ago, people planted mulberry trees to feed their silkworms. Tanbaobao快要上山,去剪枝了。这两天呢,正是他吃商业吃的最多的时候。为什么叫 
都是靠重商养蚕，嗯，呃，发家致富的，是吧？啊，那么这个蚕宝宝呢，它非常嫩，嫩，非常稚嫩，呃，很很容易生病，是吧？因此呢，我们要像。照顾小孩子一样，照顾宝宝一样的来照顾蚕，所以把它称作叫蚕宝宝。这片双院很大，没错，巨大。哇，这这是这是人家，这是一家养蚕的人家，这是人家，对，也是在这养。你看，今天都关着门，为什么？也这是我们这儿的一种规矩，养蚕季节，因为这个蚕宝宝非常的娇嫩，稍微有一点不好的这个这个味道，它就不能吐丝，所以呢，人员不往来，门都关着。费劲是吗？我啊，来这儿，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，在楼下，就是养这个蚕是吧？然后在楼上住啊。Wow, my lord! Look at this, incredible. So many eggs. You, this egg, how many eggs do you have? Roughly, here, here, there are three hundred. Three hundred? Three hundred. 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 Three hundred
，有一千到一千五百米长，能超过一公里。是，你像这个这个虫子要多么辛苦。是哎。Jianhua is one of the most famous silk pattern designers in Suzhou. In order to better realize his own design, he needs high quality silk. The highest quality cocoons spun every year will be selected, delivered here to be woven into extremely expensive Song Dynasty style brocade. Epic领导的穿过来，是吧？这个丝绸的是我们丝绸的这个服装，就是因为很舒服，是吧？对啊，一个老一放，这这个好光啊，是吧？你看了吧？这就是松紧，这就是松紧，这就是松紧，对啊
，里边是一个蛹。是这个，哎，要把它拿掉，然后呢，拿掉哎，再剥成剥成小面豆子，然后把它拉开，拉开，拉开，好上。Once we've got our boiled cocoon, we start to see what happens here inside this beautiful cocoon. Now it's gone all soft. You can see the poor little silkworms who put in so much effort. Are right in there, and there's two in there. Look at that, amazing. And then, once you get in there, you've got to start cleaning out all of the stuff that's in here. Then you've got to start stretching this silk. This is the really the a very pure form of silk, isn't it? This is basically the cocoon that's been stretched out. And I keep stretching it out until it's long enough. Now I think I've really Wash this up, but here we go. Oh, it's not so bad. Look at that. So all that effort for one cocoon stretched over here. Now to make one big duvet, well, you're probably talking about more than a thousand of these. It's a lot of effort, and you can imagine just how hard these ladies have to work. This is silk thread. Beautiful. Silkworm cocoons are individually stretched out and combined into one large reel. After it's dried, this becomes the raw material for making silk quilts. Look, this is the bed of the bed. Oh! Yes. The bed of the bed is first to remove the bed. Then you remove the bed of the bed. The bed of the bed is the size and width. The bed of the bed is the bed. 全部都是用刚刚的那种棉豆在做，你看这样包装，慢慢的、慢慢的拉出来，哎，好几层了啊，好几层，嗯，哎，它根据不同的用途啊，它有不同的这个厚度。These five kilogram quilts require up to eight thousand cocoons. Silk quilts are completely handmade. Only after 15 years of experience can these ladies make the silk even enough and soft enough for the job. Just like a bed, a bed. Yes. You can sleep. 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 One tiny Chinese silkworm. Has taken me on a magical little tour through this solar term. A dress, a quilt, they might look pretty standard stuff, but when you look closely and listen to their past, they can be traced back to a time thousands of years ago when a curious and fairly romantic person found a small cocoon and became impassioned by producing something beautiful. Maybe it is this that the people of Shenzhou have carried through the millennia. Appreciation through worship of the silk goddess, who was the first to bring them such riches at this solar term.